Flow Form Countertops and the manufacturer of the slab agreed to replace the flawed slab. There are some significant marks in it that are just eye-catching and unfortunately we are not going to accept it. I'll have to go and look at it but again it can be there and is very prevalent with what a non-vein color would look like so that would be the case for what it is. So, so where is this product made then? In uh, Spain. Spain. Yeah. So Spain. It's, it is not made locally whatsoever. Yeah. Sky cannot go back there because of the live machines. Oh, okay. So we're actually going back into the factory then. Yeah. And okay. so photography also. So are we going to see okay. our piece? Flowform has arrived with our new countertop. And we got three pieces of it anyway. There's a small piece that uh, will be coming in a day or two. Looks like this is your last installation for the day, huh? <laughs> Prepping it for gluing? Yes, this is uh, for the glue get bond in between and get strong. So we have, once we run the Integra, it's a color match and this kind of make perfect scene. Oh. With acetone, huh? Yes, this is a virgin acetone. So that one, once we clean the seam, they kind of bond pretty good. Okay, this guy is talking. <laughs> It's okay, Sky. She's talking to us in the background. Nothing is still kind of dust. What's the matter, Sky? It's okay. You stay there. It's okay. That's a good girl. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my hand. First piece is perfect. Ice guy. Yeah. You're safe there, girl. Comes number two. Red through hole. So it's almost in true. They don't go in true to don't explode on top because the seam is really strong. Okay. So uh, we're gonna break the down and then we're gonna clean the hole. It's gonna be perfect. Okay, yeah. that's the hole for the for the, the plastic. Yeah. Yes, this is a one and three eight size. It's a standard for the faucets. And now it's the fun. You just knock that out. <laughs> nice. And this is, they don't get any damage. And then we just clean. Here's the seam. This is ah. the carry clamp for big pieces. All right. Whatever we grab it, the way it make pressure. So the one we can carry the piece, they never gonna get loose. That one looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> he says, and with a smile at the same time, oh man.
It's like our weather, it's kind of... <laughs> yeah. It's kind of... This is bright because sometimes the weather is not. Yeah, correct. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. It's a little dusty, but there's nothing that uh, pulls your eyes into a mark like the last one. We came out to Kent uh, on the 22nd and chose the slab for replacing the, the piece that had the mark on it. Uh, and both sides. So that will raise up. You raise up a little bit. Meet the seam by using a shim. Yep, it's gonna be perfect. That's to be expected. <laughs> Getting together the supplies for gluing yep. down the countertop. So now the supplies, the glue we already mixed a little bit. It's a really strong glue. Is it like a two part? Uh, yeah, so they mix together. So we have the hardener on the small okay. and the glue on the big one. They oh. mix together and you just put it and mix a little bit more by hand and get the parts together. So then we call it Guanila grip. They are up by air compressor and they stick in both sides and help me open and close the seam softly so you don't get like any impact or chip the seam or anything. Okay. So it's like a hydraulic pressure? Pressure, yeah. Okay. It's, um, but it's a pump by right Oh, I can smell the glue now. I'm in the way. No, it's fine. Last thing I want to do is interfere with the installation. Now there's a level. So the gap is going to be about 316. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think Tony can do some uh, trim on that or something. I think so. Um, the yeah, builder and the cabinets. So we'll have to do some trim work. Is that unusual to be that much? No. Oh. When it, when it normal, like all the corners around, they have some variations, like eight quarter, three sixteen. Sometimes we get even worse. Like last week, we have one about three quarters, but oh most most of them is on second floor when the house settled. Yeah. They kind of slope. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But we can fix it, shape, call key, and stabilize the pieces and make it looks great. I don't want to see anyone pass out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've been doing this 16 years. We've been oh. really in work. 16 years? 16, yeah. Wow. Oh, there you go. So you're buffing off the uh, glue, the, the seam? Yeah, we take the excess to be able to feel it and see how the levels are. Basically we clean the whole scene and then we redo the top coat on it. 
Do you do the drill and fill procedure too? Yeah, everything. Uh -huh. Whatever you need to do. Buffing, polish, cutting. The drill and fill is when you got a spot that doesn't come out very good on the countertop. You can you make have, it pretty close. I would say 90% of the colors they have a perfect color matching. So when you drill it, you just fill it. It's perfect. It's oh. like a brain. Some of them it's kind of hard, especially on the white, but all the other colors. That's what we understood with the white. Would, yeah, we would see something. We're gonna see something. Look at the scene here. So it's not feeling the other way, but it's almost. It's hard to see it. Yeah, it is hard to see, especially when you're <laughs> ten feet away. <laughs> There's some artistry in this too. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one is. It looks easy, but like I said, it's hard for you to make the colors and mix everything and speed it up the system. Each installer is work different. Some of them just use uh, regular colors, others use like mixed by hands, and others use just the integral. So we've done one seam and this is the second seam. And this is the second seam. Okay. And these blocks do what again? This one is a vacuum pressure, they stick in both sides. So we can open and close the seam easily oh. because the problem when you go by hand you can push too hard and they can bump on the edges and break the pieces apart okay so this one here is like they stabilize the pieces we kind of go really slow to open and close look okay. at that okay. it's so easy it's like i'm not pushing strong but if i gonna do by hands we try to move like a two three hundred pounds piece yeah. by hand Forget it. On yeah. the top, the cabinets you never control. They go like too slow or too fast. So when we make this on the top of that, we have this bolts on the top. We can push the pieces up and down. So if I tie, they push the pieces down. If I loose, they make up. So that way we can adjust the levels and make it perfect. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it is. How do those blocks stick to the countertop? Section cups. Yeah. Okay. They work as a section cups. So they have oh, a yeah. rubber on the bottom, so that seals. Once you open the valve, they pump all the air out and they stick on the counter. Sticks down there, like yeah. stick it down. The wow, very nice. It's really nice. There it is. I can hear the sound of the pressure. Yep. I see, so you open it up enough that you can insert can the glue? insert the glue in, so we can do like straight glue. So the integra takes about 20 to 25 minutes to dry. So usually I go a little bit with a uh, regular epoxy, speed it up a little bit, and speed then I run this on the top. So you don't need to put too much because if you put too much, you're not going to have time to adjust the seat. <laughs> <laughs> First time to clean the glue, you can use acetone or the nature alcohol. Okay. Yeah, but for regular ba basis, it's just like uh, soap and water. So if you spill red wine on there, just use soap and water. Soap and water will <laughs> clean it up. Especially on this material, they are really solid. They're not going to be sore. Oh. It's not like a natural stone. That's good to know. Yeah. Safer for bacteria. For bacteria. Yep. Yeah. Correct. The reason I use the clamps on the top, on the front, 
if, if the piece is a little bit off, they kind of help straighten it. Got it. Makes sense. It looks like a, just a flat blade to help remove the hardening residue of the glue. Here we go with the silicone seal around the sink. Now what if we find a little residue of the epoxy? You can use a raised blade. Okay. Or, or, or let's say you drop some nail polish yeah, or something hard. Yeah. Okay, so, so just carefully a sharp one? Carefully a sharp one, yeah. Okay. So they are really strong. They don't scratch or anything. You can go like... So I can stand on the counter? Yes, <laughs> on this material, yes. But I mean, it's not recommended. Everybody, every everybody asks this question, and yeah. even I say it's expensive material. Yeah, you don't want to stand on it just to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can make a good YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, you can say like, "Oh, let's try the resistance the material." But how many people can stand on my counter and not break it? <laughs> that's right. You can try one by one. Yeah, that one's nice. It's no needed support. So, wow. well, what is this? Twelve inch? Uh, I think we about eleven and a half. Have you ever intentionally tried to break one just to see what oh, it yeah. takes? Yeah. She's getting groomed, so she's going to get a bath. Uh, <laughs> how old is she? Just almost a year. Oh, it's a puppy. This guy is a Norwegian elk hound. Oh, I'm going to start to feel the seam. Try get the best we can on color matching and make sure everything looks nice and smooth. That's a neat kit. It is. It's pricey, but it's worth it. Release a little bit the sheen and see if you can lower a little bit more. Oh, okay. And make the more against the cabinet. We kind of push a little bit more than we need. Okay. And then we release a little bit just to settle. Okay. Yeah, because we need kind of stabilize the piece. There's the seam. I had to really hunt for it. Yeah, and it's not done yet. We need to do like final coat. Perfectly level. Yeah. If they can disappear. Sometimes they can. But it's a lot of variations. Material, oh, yeah. color matching. We try to get the best we can. Always when you have a seam, it's like two pieces apart that connect together. Yep. You're gonna see a little something. Another coat on it just to try and get to the gas. Perfect. I like it <laughs> when work like this. That was good this way. And then we need a little something back. Alright, perfect. Let's go now. Maybe the next one. Yeah, we're gonna put a little wood here just to stabilize. After the glue dry, it's safe. Okay. Now this is your custom uh, color matching. Yeah, I try to do like a little bit in oh, both. Oh, I see. A little bit by hand, a little bit by color matching and see which one works better. And... Mm -hmm. Aha, so he's trimming the shim. Oh, it says made in Spain right there. Gonna glue in the sill here. Same material. Yeah, gonna have a little bit of shim on the back just to 
Stabilize and level the piece towards the front. It's not really big. I think I get what you're doing there. You're doing kind of a shim that's uh, elastic. <laughs> yeah, just to slope a little bit towards to the front. That way. Perfect. It's like 16. Slope towards the front if the water is still on the top. Ah, got it. Okay. Yeah. Slight slope to the front. It's, Makes sense. You don't want it to go towards the no, window. No, towards the window. Never the yeah. It's like... When you got a plant there or something and you're watering it, you want the water to come off it's the come sill. Off the sill <laughs> yeah. So if you put it really level, they're going to stay. And if you have slope back, it's going to affect your framing out inside. Yeah. Then you slope like yeah. 16. No one going to see it. It's not going to affect anything. It's perfect. Nice. Yeah. Tony's going to trim around the window uh, the same wood, the cherry wood. Oh, nice. All the way around. So it will be... Like a framed picture window, mm -hmm. but slider window. <laughs> Seam is done. It's like you can barely see it. This is amazing, beautiful. What a transition of our kitchen. You guys are a good team. Yeah, we can work a little bit together, it's nice. Usually we don't run much glue on the top of the cabinets anymore. Okay. So the reason why if something happened like water damage or something like that, you need to replace we are able to just cut to release the material and remove it, put the new cabinets and reinstall it. Most of the people like the countertops when they purchase and they want to keep the same. So That's good to know. Yeah. And the weight of the counter is it's enough. Hold in the place. It's not going anywhere. No, no, no. It's really strong. And it's beautiful. Very pleased with it. The trim is gonna be around here, right? Yes. And how about the backsplash? It's gonna be tie or chute? No, it's gonna be this material. Okay. Oh, the same material? Yeah. Oh. It's so beautiful. Why not? It's perfect. Perfect. They just need to know everything works good. Well, that was fun to watch, and thank you for your explanation. That no was. Problem, man. I hope you like it and enjoy it. Oh, absolutely. I hope you uh, did a good job. You did a from what I saw, you did a wonderful job. Thanks a lot. Very professional. <laughs>